Good afternoon. Welcome to the Board of Park Commissioners meeting for Tuesday, January 7th. Uh, Abby, please call the roll. Mr. Cappers? Mr. Emmerich? Here. Mrs. Westfall? Here. All right. Um, we have the minutes from the previous week, and I will, uh, if there's any changes to those at all, um, or any no. comments prior? No. I'll make a uh, motion to accept those minutes. I'll second that. And uh, we'll move on to our uh, reports. Um, Jeremy, you want to start us off with? Uh, sure. I don't have reports. a lot of uh, additions to what I'd already submitted. Um, I will update you that uh, we are starting the project I mentioned last month at the Senior Citizen, Senior Citizen Center. Um, one of our employees that's been off uh, for knee surgery is coming back tomorrow, actually, so they'll be in there starting to move in and, and painting will begin and some flooring and then all the cabinets and so forth. So materials all, all been delivered, cabinets are there, flooring sit in our shop right now, and so that project will be moving forward. And then, as you know, the Christmas tree just came down today yep. and winter tree removals are continuing as well. So have been staying really, really busy with uh, that and then the upcoming project. Okay. Any any questions, is it all? No. Um, we'll move on to uh, Ken. Yeah, just a couple things to follow up on that are listed on my agenda. There, as, as typically the case, we uh, started our online park shelter reservations uh, last Thursday, the first business day of the new year. So, anyone who's interested in uh, reserving a shelter for this uh, summer can do so at this point either by going online to our website or by coming into our offices located in the uh, south lobby at the arena and uh, also we're currently on sale with our uh, 2020 aquatic park passes which we started back in december we're a little bit ahead of schedule where we were last year at the same time and uh, they're, they're continuing to be on sale uh, this month through the end of uh, april uh, for uh, $10 discounts as we typically do each year to kind of promote uh, sales of those early in the year. So uh, those are available at this time as well. Excellent. And um, just run through here. There's anything else. Okay. And Kyler submitted his report. Um, he is not here to speak to that right now. But um, any questions or comments? Can't really comment on that I guess if he's not here we'll just accept that and then uh, Mr. Capper's the planning commission report I didn't get any notes from him so I don't know if nothing there so from that so we'll make a uh, motion to uh, accept these reports uh, do you have a second second that there we go uh, no old business on the agenda today uh, which moves us on to our new business which is um, a couple different things here. Um, I know we talked about Jill being out there, so um, there's some changes to the West Main Street corridor and some improvements there. Do you want to speak to that? Yeah. Good afternoon. Um, so this letter that you guys have in front of you is just kind of a description um, that is required because there is a park along the corridor. So the West Main Street um, corridor project is essentially in two phases. And so it's about a $12 million uh, capital project that the city of Troy is currently in the design phase for. Um, first phase is going to be from downtown out to Ridge. So this, this area is a part of phase one, and, the phase, and that'll be constructed in 2022. Phase two, it starts at Ridge, past Ridge, out to 75, and that's uh, fiscal year 2023. So the reason I come to you today is because the Joe Reardon Skate Park, a little sliver of it between the Chase Bank, right next to the railroad track, mm -hmm. and Choreographics is um, right along Main Street. And so we're going to be requesting a temporary easement, meaning that we're going to be there and just grading back into existing elevation on some of outside of the right of way on some of the Joe Reardon Skate Park. Um, and with this having federal funding, there it, this letter that I've attached, um, it's required that we come to the park boards or to the, the people having jurisdiction over the parks and kind of describe to them what the situation is. 
this is very minimal, minimal, minimal. <laughs> I mean, like, um, maybe 10 foot long and 10 foot wide, you know, like, so of the whole skate park. So skate park isn't, you know, uh, there's not going to really be any time the skate park's going to be inaccessible. It's going to be accessible all the time. Yeah. Um, you know, there's just going to be some asphalt redone, asphalt work, because that's pretty much the... Uh, property line to property line coming right up to Main Street is pretty much all asphalt. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, it just kind of talks about um, no in anticipated permanent adverse physical impacts, no interference. And so this letter is just saying, if you concur with what this is saying, you know, that, that um, we're going to have minimal impact on uh, this park, that you can sign. Now, I do understand that it says Al Capra's down there, and without not being here today, um, what I was going to propose is if you're okay with signing, yep. if you guys okay this, then we would just cross out, you know, Al's name, put vice president, and put um, Mr. Emmerich's name there. So, um, but that's that's essentially, it's just because it has federal funding, and under section F, uh, 4F, there, it's a requirement that we come to you guys before. There will be, like, for a temporary easement, there will be a time in the future that we'll come back to you. It'll be actually a consultant of ours that will come to you guys for this temporary easement and kind of just talk about that a little bit. Okay. The extent okay. of it, things like that. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any questions? No, so basically that entrance is off of Ridge, so it's, I mean, this is... The main entrance is yeah. off of Ridge. This is a little bike path entrance. Yeah. Yeah, that's asphalted. That was actually asphalted just this past summer, I yeah, think, recently. along with the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so that's, it's just that little sliver of property saying that we're going to essentially affect 10 by 10 foot. And so, yeah, the main entrance being yeah. off ridge isn't going to be touched at all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have no issues at all. And if we need to put the, uh, my name on it to sign, I can, we can yeah. move forward with that. So that would be that awesome. Not hold you up at all. Yeah. Thank okay. you very no much. Issues. Okay. Um, do I need to make a motion to accept that then? Okay, so I'll make a motion to um, sign off on the uh, letter um, regarding the Joe Reardon uh, Skate Park and uh, the city developments along uh, State Route 41 and Ridge Avenue to Market Street. Is I second, second that. <laughs> All right, there we go. And um, the next letter of new business was the Great American Bike uh, Bicycle Adventure. It, is that... Um, no, I was going to present on... Half a stand, unless somebody else was okay. Perfect. Did you need a yeah a motion a second? Did you need a vote? Do we on the, the uh, forty one? No. Okay. Yeah. We had a motion and second. Yeah, we had a motion and a second. And then okay. Okay. All in favor? All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Right. Sorry. Thank you for that, guys. Sure. Sue, usually you're right here helping me out here, and, and you're my you're my guide rails. But um, okay. Um, so Jeremy. Yeah, so uh, just as we've done in the past, this will be the fourth time, which is kind of unprecedented for GOBA to come back to a uh, community like this. So we're pleased to have them. The dates are June 24th through 26th. And just like they've done in the past, the request uh, for approval that they're asking for is overnight camping um, in the park during those dates. Uh, along with that request is um, permission to have open fires, but in above ground contained fire pits and this will be in compliance with the fire department's uh, recommendations. I uh, believe Stan said he'll have a, a fire extinguisher at each of the um, open fires. These will be very contained like I said in compliance with what the fire department wants uh, just mostly for s'mores and so forth, um, small fires within the park. Uh, along with that restrooms will be open uh, through the night during for the duration of the stay and pretty much just a, a copy of exactly what we've done the previous three times that they've been here. So really just asking for approval from the board uh, for those dates. Yeah. I have no issue if you know, you've kind of taken a look at it and we've done it in the past. So. Okay. And it's during the week. It's weekdays, yes, right? Um, I believe like it will be dry, arriving on the 24th, which I think is a Wednesday through a Friday. Yeah. I'm right. So they'll so be we'll leaving trickle, probably we'll Friday morning. The day Wednesday typically, and then yeah, usually they leave pretty early in the day yeah. on on the last day. Yeah, I have no problem with that. I'm a big fan of it. Yeah, absolutely. No, uh, no issues at all. Um, is this something we need to make a motion on then too? So I'll make a motion to um, make those dates available for the Troy Community Park for uh, Goba. All right. Second that. Second that, and then all in favor say aye. 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 
Right. Is there any other new business? I do have one thing real quick yeah. before we move on. I should have mentioned this during my report. I've been wanting to do this for some time. We've got uh, Dave Brown from our department, which you may recall, um, came on to the to the department from the city of Tip City, mm -hmm. and he's been wanting to get here for some time. Just want to welcome Dave, introduce him to you. Awesome. Um, just thank him for the work that he's done for us. He's really an asset to our department. Is, came right in and meshed well with our group. So Dave, thank you for being here. And finally, his schedule was able to line up with the meeting and just a pleasure to have him in our department and yeah. all that he has brought to the department. So thank you, Dave. Yeah. Dave, thanks okay. for your support. Yeah, pretty much so. Um, other than that, the uh, last part of business we have is um, one, uh, acknowledging uh, Miami Shores golf course employee Ryan Leach achieved uh, Class A membership status for the golf course as Superintendents of America. So we have a nice letter uh, directed to Mr. Capper, the board president, um, outlining the achievements of Ryan. So uh, congratulations, and I think that's a, a great added uh, attribute to, uh, to Miami Shores. Um, and the last thing is an acknowledgement of the receipt of uh, a check we have um, from, this is through the, uh, the Mayor uh, Successor Trust. So acknowledging that check. Uh, anything else at all do we have? All right, I'll make a motion uh, to conclude and end the meeting. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. 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 <laughs>